Your mom's not doing too well. Yeah, she's got a lot of health problems. She's always said, growing old is not for whips. <laughs> yeah, well, I just hope that the kids realize that she may not be with us much longer. They should really listen to what she has to say. Yeah, I hope God will grant her that. He's always used her for such a long time to bring people to him. She's a very special lady. Yeah, she is. Hello? Hey, Mr. Dunn. It's uh, Coach Nathan. Do you have a second to talk about Shannon? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Well, I've been concerned with her lately. You know, her grades are slipping, and uh, I'm concerned she might be partying some. Well, we know her grades aren't as good as they should be. She's always had trouble with school. Well, she has an algebra test coming up on Friday. And uh, if she doesn't pass, she won't be able to play. And I know that's a big deal for her. Well, we'll make sure that she studies for it. The partying thing is pretty serious, though, so we'll see. She might bite sideline from playing for a while. Well, she has a bright future ahead of her, if she stays focused. Yeah, she does. Thanks again for the call, Coach, and we'll see you at the game on Friday. Yeah, we'll see you then. What was that about? We need to have a talk with Shannon about algebra and partying. I've been worried about that. Shannon, we need to talk. I just got off the phone with your coach. He says that he's really concerned about your test this Friday, and he also says that you've been partying. What? No way. Why would he be calling us at home then? Well, he's dead wrong about it, and I'm going to pass the test, so what's the problem? Shannon, we will not stand for this. If you're lying, we will find out. We've noticed a change in your behavior. First, you stopped going to youth group, and now everything is about sports. And at least according to the coach, who I think knows what he's talking about, you've been partying. Shannon, just look me in the eye and tell me the truth. You know you can. All the kids at youth group are hypocrites and losers. I haven't done anything wrong. Everything's fine. I'll pass the test. We're not going to stand for this blaming the youth group for her behavior, now are we? Let's pray. Lord, we are thankful that you are working in Shannon's life to bring her to a relationship with you. As much as we want to be in control, we look to you and we trust you. Help us to help Shannon. God, we have tried to raise our kids in a way that honors you and leads them to you. We are trusting in you to work out your will in our lives. Please, help Shannon. Help all of our kids. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I'll go upstairs and talk to her, and then we'll decide what to do. Okay. <laughs> 